so we're on our way to Boca Grande. It's a group of islands about 10 miles west of Key West. We ran into some storms on the way, but also a bunch of dolphins. Hi, my name's Micah, and this is my wife Grace and our two kids, Gabriel and Alana. We saw them growing up fast and wanted to see the world while they were still with us. So we fixed up a 37-foot aluminum catamaran, have been living on it for almost two years now. We've added Cypher to our family since we started. We've been exploring the oceans and reefs of the Florida Keys, but are getting ready to explore more of the Caribbean. Right after we fix up our hurricane-damaged Leopard 48. Join us as we share more of our adventures with you. Right now, we are going around to go to the Anchorage at Boca Grande Key. So yeah, right now we're we're motoring because the wind died, and well, what's happened really today is we took off from the uh, Anchorage at Anchorage and came this way. Did get a little wavy. I threw up over the side, but no one else got really sick. We saw some. We saw some dolphins coming up at the front of the boat and just like playing with the waves in front of the boat. It was pretty awesome. We got kind of wet this earlier because there were some storms coming and stuff. But yeah. We're going to go anchor to Rando Key and yeah, and maybe go hop in the water. It'll be fun. Let's see if we can find the lamb with the binoculars. Lamb ho! Oh, there it is. We've had a lot of thunderstorms all day. We have one right over here. This is Boca Grande. It's another huge storm there. And another one there. So we'll probably get hit later with some more rain. It's beautiful though. It smells bland and it smells really good. We've gotten close enough to the land. I'm really, I'm really excited to go onto the land since, well, it's been like, th this is the third day I haven't touched land. That has been the longest I've ever touched land before, which is pretty crazy for me. This is my first time actually smelling land. That I've actually known that I'm actually smelling land. Really. Pretty awesome. Mostly I've only smelled like the stinky seaweed of the ocean more instead of the smell of... It smells like flower blossoms, which it smells really good. Yeah. Land is right over there. And I can smell it from here. This is really awesome. We are at Boca Grande and we're getting to the anchorage over there, where that big boat is, I'm not sure who sees them. So yeah, there's the anchorage. Yeah, over there. And we're thinking of going to the beach, hopefully today, which is over there. Which normally, these are just mangrove islands, but I have spotted with my binoculars. 
a palm tree. Over there, somewhere. So there's a main beach over here, but the kids spotted this tiny beach. Cool little beach over here that we're gonna try to get to, but we have to go over like a shallow spot. But it looks it looks pretty cool. And a nice shady spot. Cypher will love it there, yeah. So, so we just got to this awesome little place off of the main beach. It has this bamboo swing over here that we just found out. And this awesome tree. The main beach is over there that way. It looks like there's a little path. From the little beach to the main There's a nice beach, but we had to get back in the water pretty quick because there are so many mosquitoes there. All in all, we had a lot of fun. There was a pretty strong current, lots of rain. And we found this bird fish that was pretending to be a leaf. So we're heading out of Boca Grande Key, which is about halfway in between the Marquesas and Key West. Um, we only spent one night here. It was, uh, there's a couple of moorings and we spent the night on one of the moorings and it was horrid because um, the wind and the current were against each other and we ended up, the ball just kept slamming into us all the time. We're leaving Buca, Boca Grand Key and it's actually really nice here at Boca Grand Key. Like, yes, there's like sort of a current like we were just swimming off the beach this morning and there was a current but there was like we saw we saw two red mom and dad saw two rays and there was like we were just drifting around with the current and i found so many purple shells they're so pretty and there are some really cool shells in one area, there's just tons and tons of tiny mangrove snapper, which is really awesome. And apparently, at the beach, there's this extra little beach area that had a bamboo swing. And then we went further onto the trail, and there's another, like, metal swing or something, which was interesting. So, we're just leaving Boca Grande Key right now. Um, this is the beach right here. There's like a ton of people right now. But when we went, there was like no people at all. But it was like pretty rainy. There was a lot of bugs there. Cypher didn't notice bugs that much. But he, he was just yelling and yelling and yelling. But also, it was like a strong, a strong current. So we would just put our mask, our snorkel mask on and we would just drift down the current and just see stuff. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool. There was this one tiny beach, which we'll probably just show you, um, that we put, we thought about going there because it, it looked really cool, but it was like super duper buggy there. Yeah, but it, it was pretty awesome. So now we're off again this time for the Florida Keys Marquesas. And oh, the grand adventures we'll have when we get there. On this trip, we're headed to the Dry Tortugas 
and we found some amazing things there. I ended up making an entire coloring book just about the dry tortugas. You can find it on Amazon, link in the description below. We show you where to go snorkeling in the book, but also just show you some of the amazing fish and the facts we learned about the place.